from the inside Mac Television live coverage from Mac World Conference and Expo 2008 here in beautiful Moscone Center in San Francisco, California. Inside Mac Television coverage of this year's Conference and Expo brought to you by Hewlett Packard. You can find out more information at www.hp.com and of course www.insidemactv.com. Welcome to Macworld 2008. We've got some, some great stuff for you. There's clearly something in the air today. But before we dive into all of that, I just wanted to take a moment and look back to 2007. 2007 was an extraordinary year for Apple. Some incredible new products. The, the amazing new iMac, the awesome new iPods, and of course the revolutionary iPhone. I've got some great news for you. Now today happens to be e exactly the 200th day since the iPhone went on sale. All right, been, iPhone's been shipping for exactly 200 days today and I'm extraordinarily pleased to report that we have sold 4 million iPhones to date. What everybody's really excited about is the software development kit that we're going to release in late February to our developers. This is really exciting, a chance for all of our developers to write incredible apps on the iPhone. But we wanted to give everybody something today, too. And so we've got some great new features we're rolling out on the iPhone today. First, maps with location. We've completely rewritten the UI and we now have the ability to find your current location in Maps. So let's go to Maps. And as you can see, we've got a new user interface for Maps here. Uh, we've got uh, <coughs> search and directions right in the middle here so people don't get confused. Over on the right side, we've got a little view button, and I can hit that and just curl up the map, and it allows me to see my map, and map view, satellite, new hybrid view, which puts them together, list view, show traffic and we can drop a pin. We'll come back to that later. But this button on the left is really cool. I push it and it's going to locate. It's going to locate me right on the map. Zoom. And there we are. <coughs> so how do we do some of this stuff? Uh, let's take maps. There's no GPS inside the iPhone. And we've got this great new user interface but how do we actually arrive at the location? Well, we're working with two companies to do that, Google and a company called Skyhook Wireless. Let me start with Skyhook. What they've done is they've driven the US and Canada in little cars with antennas on them and GPS receivers in them, and they've mapped Wi-Fi hotspots. They're now doing Europe and starting in Asia. And they've got 23 million Wi-Fi hotspots in their database. And so when we go to find a location, it turns out you pick up beacons from these hotspots, even if you're not connected to them. And then you pick up the beacons, we triangulate the beacons, look in their database, and it tells us where we are. Isn't that cool? It's really cool. And Google is doing basically the same thing with triangulating cell tower information off the cellular network. And we're using both of them. And it works pretty doggone well. So that is how we find location on the iPhone. There's a better way to deliver movie content through iTunes over the internet to our customers. And so today, we're introducing iTunes Movie Rentals. This is what the new section of the iTunes store looks like for movie rentals. And we have gotten the participation of some great studios. Touchstone Pictures, Miramax, MGM, Lionsgate, and New Line Cinema. Oh, and by the way, these six too. You can watch movies on your Macs and PCs. You can watch movies on all the current generation iPods. And you can watch movies on your iPhone. 
But what about this? What about this flat screen TV that I just bought? I'd like to watch the movies there too. Well, I have to say, all of us have tried. We have Microsoft, Amazon, TiVo, Vudu, Netflix, Blockbuster. We've all tried to figure out how to get movies over the internet and onto a widescreen TV. And you know what? We've all missed. No one has succeeded yet. We tried with Apple TV. And Apple TV was designed to be an accessory for iTunes and your computer. That's not what people wanted. We learned that what people really wanted was about movies, movies, movies. And we weren't delivering that. So we're back with Apple TV Take Two. It still syncs beautifully to your computer if you want, but no computer is required to use Apple TV Take Two. Apple makes the best notebooks on the planet. The MacBook and the MacBook Pro. These are the standards in the industry by which competitive products are judged. Well, today, we're introducing a third kind of notebook. It's called the MacBook Air. Now, what is the MacBook Air? In a sentence, it's the world's thinnest notebook. It's so thin, it even fits inside one of these envelopes that we've all seen floating around the office. And so let me go ahead and show it to you now. This is it. Let me take it out here. This is the new MacBook Air, and you can get a feel for how thin it is. Yeah, there it is. Look at this. All right. Amazing product here. Full-size keyboard, full-size display. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that amazing? We've got a very generous trackpad, which is great. We've also built in multi-touch gesture support. You can double tap, and instead of moving the cursor around, you can move a whole window around, right? Just a nice time saver. So that's great. Here's another one. When you're in a photo, a large photo, you want to pan around. You can pan around with just two fingers like this. Another nice time saver. You want to rotate a photo? This works in iPhoto and all the other photo apps. Just rotate like this. Again, we've taken some of these things we learned in the iPhone, and now we're putting them in our notebook computers. Here's another one. If you want to go between photographs, next photo, just take three fingers and pan right. Previous photo, pan left. And you want to zoom, you can pinch in and out. All right? Isn't that great? So, we can't wait for you to get your hands on these new products. They're out there in the booth. Thank you so much for coming this morning, and we look forward to a very innovative 2008. Thank you very much.